How to Think Like Tyler Durden from Fight Club. Now, Fight Club is a movie that definitely holds a lot of weight in cinema and movie history. I mean, the film is considered to be a cult classic with its very deep storyline and the many different philosophical themes it touches upon. But one of the biggest reasons as to why it's one of my favourite films is because of the badass character of Tyler Durden. Did you know if you mix equal parts of gasoline and frozen orange juice concentrate, you can make napalm? No, I did not know that. Is that true? That's right. And in this video, what I'm going to explore and analyse is what we can learn from the character of Tyler in order to increase the level of power and control you have in your own life, especially when it comes to the world of business. So sit back, relax, and be prepared to learn how to think like Tyler Durden. Things you own end up owning you. But do what you like, man. Now, Tyler is definitely a complex character full of philosophical ideas, mainly embracing the idea of just letting go. But funnily enough, it isn't just these philosophical ideas and thought provoking facts that makes him so powerful. You know why they put oxygen masks on planes? So you can breathe. Oxygen gets you high. In a catastrophic emergency, you're taking giant panic breaths. Suddenly you become euphoric, docile. You accept your fate. It's all right here. What really makes him that such powerful character is his ability to create a following. But not just any old following, but a following that is almost cult-like. Now, whether you're an artist, an entrepreneur, or a politician, one of the most important foundations that you need to build when it comes to the game of power is a loyal following. I mean, just think about it. All the people that are considered to be the greatest in their fields, whether that's a company like Apple, a basketball player like Jordan, or an entrepreneur like Elon Musk, once you start to dig a bit deeper, they all have a following that seems almost cult-like. I mean, Apple have built such a loyal customer base that people are willing to camp outside their stores for hours just to get their hands on the next iPhone. And if you even mention the point that Michael Jordan was an overrated player to a Jordan fan, then you'll probably get more than your face smashed in. The point I'm making is that once we start to dig deep behind this idea, we then start to see this type of cult-like following everywhere around us, from musicians to sports and to companies which is the point that Tyler highlights to fight against. Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. But it's quite ironic that it appears that Tyler is liberating everyone from cultishly following mainstream brands and companies. What he's doing in the process is creating a cultish-like following around himself and the idea of Fight Club. And once he successfully creates that following to where he establishes fight clubs all around the country, he is then able to get them to execute Project Mayhem, a plan to destroy several financial institutions in order to reset virtual credit to zero. Now, even though you may not want to build a following to create pure anarchy and chaos, this still doesn't dispute the fact of what having such a loyal and slightly cultish following can do for you. This can be from getting people to buy your products and services, getting people to come to your concert, or even to get people to vote for you to become president. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm fully aware that building a cult-like following may sound a bit scary at first. But the truth of the matter is that people have an overwhelming desire to desperately believe in something. This is unfortunately why we see so many people fall for things such as get-rich-quit schemes or crazy irrational ideas, as this need for us humans to believe in something is exploited by unethical people. But as an entrepreneur, you can't deny this fact either. The fact that by giving people something to believe in, it can then crazily increase your chances of turning them into a loyal follower of yours, to which you can then influence and govern their actions to get them to do what you want them to do. Now I'm going to break down a simple but very powerful four step process just like Tyler uses in order to build that cult like following. But ultimately, it is your responsibility to use them ethically 
and responsibly. As much as building a cult-like following is powerful, it doesn't take too much for that crowd to turn against you and rip you to shreds, especially in this era of cancel culture, that you are manipulating and exploiting them in a bad way. Examples of this can be making false promises or guaranteeing things that you full well know you can't deliver on. Don't look at this strategy as how to manipulate people for your gain, but look at it as how to build a strong loyal following for years to come. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Now, in order to create a cult-like following, you first must attract attention. And by Tyler insisting on everyone to not talk about Fight Club, it ironically creates an even more deeper interest into what Fight Club is all about. I mean, if you was to ask someone what Fight Club is all about, and their response is that they can't speak about it, this will naturally perk your interest, and one day you might follow them to see what they're doing. Hence, getting introduced to the world of Fight Club. This sense of mystery surrounding Fight Club is what gets people to talk about it. And that is one of the first steps to create that cult-like following, which is to give people something to talk about. The main point is to arouse a person's interest. Don't go hitting them straight away with your more deep and complex ideas, but something that is just simple enough to capture their attention and to get their foot in the door. Once you've captured their attention, the second step is to start working on creating an emotional experience for them to go through. Now I do a massive deep dive of how powerful an emotional experience is in my Inception Breakdown video. So if you want to dive a bit more deeper into this concept, make sure you go check that out. But all in all, in this day and age of social media, attention nowadays isn't that hard to get. But in order to keep that attention from going elsewhere, that takes a bit more work. This is why the eighth rule of Fight Club is that if it's your first night, then you have to fight. And the eighth and final rule, if this is your first night at Fight Club, you have to fight. This forces new people to experience what Fight Club is all about, which is a place for men to outlet their feelings of aggression and to experience feelings to which society has numbed them to. The idea is to create an emotional experience for them to go through, which completely eliminates the feelings of skepticism and boredom. I mean, this is exactly why football clubs are able to build that such cult-like following, as the experience they give to their fans is something that you can't get anywhere else. Experiences such as the roar of the crowd, the euphoric feeling of celebrating a goal, and the intense rivalry between different clubs. The main point is to deliver a mind-blowing experience or an excellent service, and the focus is on overwhelming their senses that will stir up feelings of emotion. The use of theatrical effects and experiences is much more powerful than simple words alone and the emotions that they get from your product or service is what is going to make them keep coming back. The third step to help you create that cult-like following is to implement structure and organization with your following. And the way that this can be done is by creating a hierarchy, giving people titles and implementing rituals. An example of this is how Tyler creates the chemical burn ritual. The ritual again is all designed to be another emotional experience but more so a kind of initiation of official membership to Tyler's cause. I mean, we can see that all members of Project Mayhem have to go through it, bringing a sense of community and brotherhood to the group. What is this? This is a chemical burn. Ah, ah, ah. I've heard more than you've ever been burned, and you will have a scar. What are you doing? Guided meditation worked for cancer, it could work for this. Stay with the pain, don't shut this out. No, 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 no,
I mean, it's all about creating that sense of exclusivity and community to the group. I mean, back to the football example, a ritual that a lot of football fans take is the chanting and singing of songs. Combined with different nicknames for different clubs, such as the Gunners or the Yids, all brings fans closer together around the support of their team. What do you think of Tottenham? What do you think of shit? Thank you! That's alright! We ain't Tottenham! 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 We are the Tottenham! Let's pretend! Let's pretend! Let's pretend we score the goal! Another example is how Starbucks always ask and write your name on your cup of coffee. Again, this ritual is all designed to make their service feel much more personal and develop more of an emotional connection with their customers. Instead of just shouting out an order number printed on a receipt, the calling of your name makes you feel exclusive, gives you a sense of feeling special and strengthens your connection with Starbucks. It's all about, again, creating an emotional experience but this time focusing on building that strong sense of community with your followers and the final step is to create an us versus them dynamic we've all been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars but we won't we're slowly learning that fact we're very very pissed off In order to keep your followers united, you must do what all other religious and belief systems successfully do, which is to create a polarizing enemy to fight against. The power of this can be seen when you look at different religions. I mean, most religions do have some sort of polarizing enemy that they're fighting against. Enemies such as the devil or Satan. What Tyler does is targets and makes society his enemy. He polarizes his followers and makes them feel as if they're fighting against something that is destroying them and influences his followers to declare war on it. Now, this concept is very, very powerful when it comes to creating that cult-like following. The enemy itself doesn't have to be a physical person or entity. It can be something abstract or an idea, but the more tangible and visual the enemy is, the better. Apple did this amazingly by creating an enemy out of the status quo, an IBM. The idea of creating products that go against the conventional ways of thinking. Ironically, just like Tyler Durden. January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. And again, going back to the football example. Even though football rivalry in England has calmed down a lot since back in the days, this such intense rivalry between different clubs still plays a massive part in the cult-like followings that we see them have today. The whole point of creating a polarizing enemy for your followers to unite against is to strengthen the bond between them and create that ever stronger sense of community, allowing you to be able to influence their actions that much more and getting them to do what you want them to do. And that's how to think like Tyler Durden from Fight Club. And that was how he was able to build that such loyal following. By playing on people's need to believe in something. And by creating a cult-like following. Now as I said at the beginning, Tyler used his strategy to cause absolute anarchy and chaos. But that doesn't mean that you have to. As much as it does sound quite dark, there is absolutely no doubt that you can use this strategy in a very ethical way. The key is to create a cult-like following around something that actually provides genuine value to people 
Whether that's in the form of an excellent product or service, or an engaging form of entertainment or idea, even though the goal is to get people to do what you want them to do. Whether that's to buy your product or service, or to get them to believe in your ideas, you don't want to be seen as manipulating people in a way where the only person that gains from it is you. Trust me, if you use this four step process in a genuine, authentic and ethical way, I can absolutely assure you that you will be able to build a following that will literally ride or die for you and build something that can last the tests of time. And just to recap the four step process to achieve this is by first attracting attention by giving people something to talk about. Then second, to create an emotional experience for them to go through that will get them coming back for more. Then the third step is to develop names and rituals for your following in order to build that strong sense of connection and community. And the final step is to create an us versus them dynamic by targeting and declaring war on a polarizing enemy and that is what is going to allow you to build that cult like following and is what is going to grant you much more power in your life and in the world of business now like with all character breakdowns we do on the channel i tried to focus on what powerful strategies and principles that we can learn from these characters in order to be able to think that bit more strategically whether that's in life or business. And if you are interested in learning more about these strategic strategies and principles that I cover, then make sure you click the link in the description to sign up for our newsletter. I always get asked to go much deeper into more principles and strategies. But there's only so much that I can talk about in just one YouTube video. That's why for a nearly whole year now, I've been non-stop working on something that is going to absolutely blow you away. I mean, you think you learn a lot from the character breakdowns that I do now? Well, think again, because when I launch what I've been working on for you, I can tell you it is going to put you on that journey to becoming that master strategic thinker that you've always wanted to be. So if you are interested in what I've been working on, make sure you click the link in the description to sign up for our newsletter, as I'll be announcing something on there much more sooner than you think. And if you like this video, Make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment below on what your thoughts and feelings are about Tyler Durden. Comment some of your favourite lessons on Call Through and let me know what character breakdown would you like to see next. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel and to all our loyal subscribers, we are glad you are here. We do some of the best character breakdowns on the whole of YouTube and we aim to produce at least one high quality video per so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any golden knowledge. I'll see you soon.